Hi there. My name is Naomi Martinez. I am an illustrator and painter. I'm filming uh, from my home art studio uh, for this Hyde Park Art Center virtual Sunday activity. Today we're going to make a shoebox dollhouse diorama. Um, before we start, uh, I can let you know about myself and my work. So I am again an illustrator and painter. I have some of my work behind me. I paint mixed media paintings, uh, watercolor art. I make art dolls. I make zines. Um, I also um, make crochet art. Uh, I'm inspired a lot by nature and uh, growing up uh, between Chicago, Rio Grande Valley, Texas, and Durango, Mexico. So I am inspired a lot by childhood memories and uh, my work is very um, colorful, playful, whimsical. Um, I like to uh, express myself and connect with the world in this way. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's very therapeutic and uh, something that I, I love to share with people. I am also a teaching artist and um, I am working right now with a group of women artists uh, at the Hyde Park Art Center uh, residency and uh, we're all working on large-scale dioramas um, that we hope to share with you someday soon uh, and I'm happy that uh, I can help you uh, make your own. Uh, so let's uh, Let's get started. Um, supplies, first of all. Black marker. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie. Any marker, black marker will do. Ruler. Scissors. Scotch tape or masking tape works too. Colored pencils. Just a few. You don't need a lot. Your favorite colors. A fabric scrap that you have may have around. Um, Cereal box or cheese cheese cracker <laughs> uh, cardboard box um, shoe box a magazine uh, or a comic book anything with interesting images you can cut out we're gonna add artwork to our diorama walls pattern paper. I know right now we're staying safe at home, but um, there are patterns around the home, uh, or you can create your own pattern. Uh, this is on construction paper with just a black marker. Create your own pattern paper. Um, holiday bags and other kind of gift bags are great for patterns too. Wrapping paper. Maybe you uh, received a gift at one time and you saved the wrapping paper because it was really cool. This is the uh, craft paper you find at the craft store. Old books uh, sometimes have like, you know, um, you can use map, that map. Magazines have patterns. Um, so that's another place. Um, origami paper if you have some. I love origami paper. Uh, so that's that's some of the patterns you can find, pattern paper you can find around home. Okay. And there are some cutouts that you're going to need to cut out. I'm going to go through each with you. Uh, I'm going to let you know in the beginning everything that you do need to cut out. It's only eight, eight pieces. And, uh, and again, I'll be going through it. Uh, they might be able to, you might be able to download it, but again, you don't have to download it. Um, I'm going to go through each measurement and everything with you. Today, we're going to be making our little furniture for our diorama as well. So we're going to be making a table, a chair, and a little shelf, bookshelf. I think I forgot in my in my uh, supplies. Excuse me, to let you know that we need a pipe cleaner. Oh, it fell on the floor. <laughs> Here it is, pipe cleaner. 
Okay. So, uh, we're going to start with our little furniture, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you everything you need to cut out. Right now, I'm going to go through it all, and then at, as each piece we make, I'm going to go through it again. So, you're going to need first on drawing paper. This is the only piece you'll need on drawing paper, okay? Four inches wide by three inches long, okay? That's what we're going to use for our bookshelf. See how we drew on our bookshelf? Okay, and then this is the bookshelf. This is gonna be on cardboard, okay? One inch wide by seven inch long, two pieces. Okay, this is gonna be a part of our bookshelf too, on cardboard, all right? And you're gonna need two pieces of this, two little squares, two inches by two inches long on cardboard. Okay, so this is gonna be on your cereal box cardboard. Okay, and um, that's going to be part of our table. Um, you're going to need your tabletop. Hmm. I don't know where that little paper is, but you're going to need to cut out out of cardboard a tabletop. Okay, so that's the other thing you're going to need. And it's a, I just used a spaghetti jar lid to make a perfect circle or you can freehand draw a circle okay on your cardboard the next thing you're gonna need is these two little pieces okay two inch wide by one inch long these are gonna be part of your chair on cardboard okay all right so those are all the pieces you're gonna need cut out um so when you measure everything out it's gonna look like this okay then you cut everything out which I've done I have all my pieces cut already so I can just start showing you how to do everything okay so the first thing we're gonna make is our little table okay so this one, I uh, I added a pattern paper on top of the cardboard, and then I painted the bottom white so it looks nice and neat and pretty. But you know, you don't have to do that today if you don't have paint or you know pattern paper. Okay, but I'm gonna set it just like that so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I already have my little piece of uh tabletop cardboard cut out. And I have my two squares that I need for the legs. These are for the legs, okay? All right. Now, what I want you to do with these is you're going to, with your marker, it doesn't matter which side you do this on. Uh, it's a perfect square. So uh, from this edge, you're gonna go about a half inch in and make a mark, okay? From this end, end you're gonna, this edge, you're gonna go in about a half inch too and you're gonna make a mark, okay? And the same thing on the other one. From this edge, about a half inch in, you're gonna make a mark with your marker. And then on, from this edge in, you're gonna make about a half inch mark, okay? Then, you're going to cut a little slit for each where you marked. Okay. And then from there, you're going to go cut up about an inch. About an inch. And you're going to fold that back. Okay. Fold that back. And you're gonna cut that piece off that you folded back. So now you got little legs, see? So you're gonna do the same with this one. Cut about one inch up. Okay, fold it back. Okay. Then you're gonna cut that off. You don't need that. This is so we can make our little legs, create our little 
table legs. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, don't need that. All right, <laughs> we got our legs. Now at the top of this, you're gonna make a little fold, about a half inch, half inch fold, okay? At the top, half inch fold, fold it back, okay? Like that, so it's gonna look like that, okay? And that's what you're gonna put your glue on, that little fold, okay? Let's grab our glue. Make sure you fold it down really well so it stays so it stays straight like that and you're gonna glue that add glue on that fold oops my glue is okay I'm gonna add glue to that fold okay and with the card blank cardboard side up and the print on the bottom, you're gonna glue this to the where the print is on the bottom. So just so this is gonna be the top of your tabletop. And this is the bottom of your tabletop. Whoops. That's where you're gonna glue this. Okay. My other Good to do this when it's laying down like this. Thank you. See what I'm doing there? Okay. So just like that. All right, and then you can see that it stands. It's a little table. Okay. If one side is longer than the other, let's see, like this one, I think is a little bit. I just snip off a little bit. Sometimes I don't fold exactly. Okay, so now it's, there you go. So, there's your table. Okay. And you can add pattern paper on top of it. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can draw a pattern on there or, I mean, Whatever you, if you have a sticker or something that you want to put on there, that's cool too. There's lots of ways you can decorate. Okay. So I think I'm going to use, I got this cool like pizza paper. You can draw pizzas on there. I'm going to use my color pencil. So you just, just to show you how I do it, just trace, just put your tabletop like that onto paper. Make sure your pattern paper is down, your pattern is on this side, okay, then you trace on the back of that, then you cut it out, okay, all right, oops, I'm gonna put this. this is what we're making, <laughs> we're still working on it, okay, so, let's get some glue on here now. And... Little pizza table there. Okay, so we did our table. Okay. And then next is our chair. That's what we're gonna work on next. And you can use pipe cleaner or if sometimes, um, you know, mom, dad, grandma or somebody has uh, wire that they work with, uh, you can use wire too. Like, um, so this is a 12 inch piece, okay? You're gonna do a loop-de-loop -loop like this and meet at the bottom so both sides are even. Two fingers, you're going to push up. Okay, tight, okay, and that's gonna form the top of your chair, the backing of your chair, how you see there. So I'm gonna do this, okay, this is the view, this is how it looks. Then three fingers wide down, you're going to make a fold forward this way, okay? So we 
are starting to form our chair. Okay, so that's about three fingers wide. Then the little seating area of your chair is gonna be two inches, I mean two inches, two fingers wide. So you're gonna put your fingers down here and fold over this way. And then you're gonna fold this way. So let's so then you start to form it kind of you know where you want to bend don't bend too hard uh, just so that it's like rounded okay and let's go oh there's my dog <laughs> okay so it's gonna look kind of like this if you can see Gonna look kind of like that and when you glue your uh, or tape in your tape on your cardboard pieces it'll start to be able to stand okay so it's kind of tricky but all right and for your chair pieces you're gonna need these little guys two inch by one inch long okay on cardboard two inch by one inch long those are the little chair pieces okay hi Luke okay so I have them cut out here already okay so now I'm gonna put my this is gonna be the top part of my chair the backing of the chair so I kind of it's gonna be about that about that high up okay then with scotch tape with your scotch tape I'm gonna go ahead and get two pieces because that's what I need okay in the back okay you're gonna tape tape the cardboard to the pipe cleaner okay oops And you want it about that close to the edge, a little room on the edge, okay? So, looks like that. Now you're gonna do the bottom, okay? I'm gonna add the cardboard on the bottom part of the chair. Okay, so now we're gonna like this. And this is, about how how much room how much pipe cleaner should be there. okay so then you're gonna tape these two pieces tape and you're gonna tape the bottom moves a bit for a while until you tape it <laughs> okay so there's that and then try to get it to listen to each other <laughs> I might have left too much room here so I want to make that gap smaller so then that unbalances my chair <laughs> so maybe not that much room between this is the trickiest part the chair I think kind of wobbly and but we're gonna get through it okay. 
I am really having trouble with this. <laughs> I love making tiny things. I just enjoy, I like uh, doll houses. I like all that kind of stuff. Okay, that should be it. Okay, there we go, my chair. Okay. And you can add pattern paper to that too, or you can draw a pattern on, okay? Um, so you would just trace again, just, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's use some pattern paper. I thought I had cut some out. It's okay, we're gonna do it now. So again, you just trace the shape onto, and then with the glue, and that piece was too small. So all these, I have lots of little scraps of paper. I save everything because um, you never know. I like, could be working on a smaller project and that piece of paper could be perfect. Okay. We'll be moving on soon. All right, so there's a little chair. Okay. Now let's get to our bookcase. Okay. All right, so... For this bookcase, you're going to, I'm drawing paper four inches wide by three inches long, okay? And this, two of these, okay? So one inch wide by seven inch long on cardboard, okay? Two of those, okay? I have them here. Now, with a marker, which I did already here, from this edge, two inches in, you're gonna make a mark. From this edge, two inches in, you're gonna make a mark. On the top as well, two inches in, a mark, two inches in, a mark. So this is gonna be two inches long, three inches, two inches. And you're gonna do that on both, okay? Then you're going to just Draw a line, okay, connect those, draw a line, connect those. That's where you're gonna fold. So I've already folded this, okay? And this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be like two C's and they're gonna come together, okay? And then at the top, you're gonna tape here and you're gonna tape inside so they stay together, okay? So on each side, okay. So they stay together like that. And you know, let's throw in some glue in between that so that they don't come apart. Let's throw some glue in between there. Okay. So it's going to be like this. That's how you're going to keep them together. Okay. 
Now you're gonna do the same for the bottom. So it's going to stay together all like that. Okay. Then on the drawing paper that you cut out, the four inch wide by three inch long, here it is. Okay. Okay. So one inch from the edge, you're going to make a mark. Let's see. I already, yeah, oh, I already did. Okay. And one inch from this edge, you're going to make a mark. Up top two, one inch, one inch. With your ruler, you're gonna connect those. So it sounds like this, okay? And then in here is where you're gonna draw your shell. So you're gonna do three even shelves. I eyeball it. You can use your ruler if you want to do it exactly. So just three levels like that, or three shelves. And then with your colored pencils, you're just going to draw your draw whatever you want on your shelf. You can draw books. Um, again, using different colors. They can be different sizes. Maybe one of them is leaning like a certain way. Yeah, if you want to look at kind of what I did here, if that will help you to get some ideas. I'm gonna draw one of my little dolls hanging out on here. So any cute little things you wanna add, little tchotchkes, little framed, framed stuff, you know, like maybe there's a frame photograph in there, you know. So just get creative, you know. My I love drawing. The drawing part is my favorite. <laughs> Maybe there's a book that you like, Harry Potter or something. You can write the name of the book. Um, sometimes I um, like if I want it to be about art or like about crochet or you know I'll write that in. So. Yeah, just okay. Sometimes maybe it's like a keepsake box in there, so just draw like a little box, kind of like that, or you know, shelves hold all kinds of stuff, so. Okay, and I'm just gonna go over this again. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is it should measure out where right where you started your shelf here like this line here you can fold it over like so like so so it's gonna look like that so that's supposed to fit right over this the structure of your of your cardboard shelf okay and then you just glue or tape that on I'm gonna go with the tape I'm working a little faster here but 
Yeah, and you know, I'm I'm working kind of fast here, but you guys take your time, you know? Take your time. Uh you can reference back, rewind the video, you know? Okay. So, shelf done. Okay. Shelf, table. We got our shelf, we got our table. Okay. We got our chair, okay? And now we're going to get to our shoe box, okay? So what you're going to do is, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our table in here. I'm going to move this. We're done making. Okay, so we're done making furniture anyway. <laughs> So here is, you're gonna, I like this area to be like my sitting area. So I like to put my table here. We're gonna draw a window. And with the color pencil, or you can use a pencil. Or, I like to kind of mark where my table kind of starts here. Okay, just with a mark. And then kind of how wide my table is. And I kind of use that as a guide as to how where to start my, my window and how wide my window should be. I like wide windows, so I'll make it wider than the table. And um, so I like a big window. So with your black marker, first, if you want to sketch it first with a tape, uh, with a pencil, that's cool too. But I, like, I just go ahead in with my black marker and I just start drawing my window in there. So I like a big window. Okay. And I'll draw a sun in there. Clouds, birds, nice little view, trees, maybe. Right? Okay. Okay, so there's my there's my window that I drew. Okay, and you see, so the table is a good guide of how how where to start my window or where. And then you know, as their seating area there, they can look out the window. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add wallpaper all around uh, with my pattern paper. Um, so what you can do is. You can just kind of put your paper in here and kind of fold where you want it to end. And that fold will be your guide to where you're going to cut. So put some of this on the under my window so under my window. And so yeah, that's going to help you. And then, you know, you kind of just put it in there and then, okay, maybe my window, uh, so you can fold it, fold it over this way so you can see where your window ends. Or you can use your ruler to measure, like, I like to just go in there and kind of, you know, okay, that's how long I need it and, you know, such. So, it's better if I'm facing it this way. But, so yeah, kind of just start to lay your paper down, your pattern paper. Maybe you don't like patterns. Maybe you can just put construction paper in there. Maybe you just want to paint it. Uh, you know, it's up to you. But again, you're going to need time for the paint to dry if you do decide to do that. But I like the pattern paper. I like that, you know, it's kind of fun colors and fun things going on okay so now and I I like to mix different pattern paper like I you know I'll use some of the pattern paper that I made you know so again just using just using my Okay. That one's too wide. So it's okay. 
okay, you're going to be kind of eyeballing and kind of figuring out, okay, how wide this paper is going to be, how long. And using your glue again, put your glue on there. I'm going to also be having a paper doll workshop um, and one of these virtual Sunday activities. They'll be posting a date for that, so I'll be joining everyone again and making some cool stuff. Origami paper. Okay. Oh wow, this one almost fits perfectly on here. Okay. So. I'm gonna cover this whole wall with this. I like it, I like this. So. up there. I really like this pink. It's so cute. It's, it's very bright. Watermelon. I love watermelon. I keep, sometimes I keep gift paper, wrap paper. No, don't throw it out. It's so beautiful. Gift bags too. I love, I love reusing, recycling paper. Um, it's a uh, good for the environment to reuse as much as possible because we don't want to add to our landfills. Okay, so I think I'm done putting my oh, wallpaper here. I'm working fast, but again, take your time and you can reference back or if you need to. So that's kind of what it kind of looks like. See? Oh, okay. Now I'm going to show you um, how you can add artwork to your, to your wall. So I like using um, comic books or uh, magazines for my artwork. Uh, I can show you. So sometimes mag fashion magazines will have cool images, like little small images like this. And I like to just put it on top of a piece of white paper so it has like a white frame around. And then you can draw on it or add washi tape here, cut out patterns, tape, paste them on there, add glitter, things like that. So that'd be a cool like art piece for a little, that would, that would look nice too. Um, also, comic books. I like to cut out images from comics. Again, put it on a piece of white paper. And, ta-da, artwork. Okay. Bookmarks uh, that they give out free at the library. Business cards, you know, sometimes have really cool images. Stickers, if you collect stickers. Um, postcards. Those cards have cool artwork. Magazines have cool artwork. So yeah, you can cut things out. This is an, I like this image a lot, it's really cool. I can cut that out and make art. I think I'm gonna cut her out. So. That will be an art piece, okay? And then, uh, 
I think that will be an art piece for my wall. That would be cool. Okay. But I think I'm gonna put it on put a background like a like a a frame around it so it'll stand out. So I have some let's see. I can just glue it onto The paper cut around it and it has a frame now and you could do that with white paper you can do it with you know any any uh, color paper so you can continue to to add paper pattern paper around or you can paint it white again you're gonna have to allow time for it to dry before you add your little furniture in there um so i'm gonna go ahead and add my my piece of artwork here from my magazine okay i'm gonna just glue it in there And I kind of put it to the side, leaving like this room here for um, my bookshelf. Remember, you've got a bookshelf you got to put in there. And then um, the next thing I'm going to do is from my fabric scrap, I'm going to go in there and see how big of a rug I need. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> How big of a rug I need. I can cover the whole bottom. You can cover the whole bottom of it, or it can just be a round rug. It can be just a little rectangular rug. You know, just measure out how big you need it. And that's another nice little accent for your little dollhouse. Diorama. Okay. I think I need it about that long. Okay. And then about that wide. So that's going to be my rug. Okay, my little rug, now we can see it, little rug, see how that adds like a little, then that's, then you're going to put your little pizza table here, pizza table, okay. your chair, your chair, And there is your, your uh, diorama dollhouse. Again, like you can keep adding, get creative. Here's some fun, I, other fun ideas. Uh, I found this pine cone. You can add like little tiny things that you have in your house. Um, here's a butterfly pin. Uh, you can add it to the wall, glue it on or, you know, set it somewhere on the ground like a decorative thing another cool thing is um i dropped this earlier but this is a glue stick cap and i stuff it with paper and then i just add like a little 
some flowers in there. Okay. So again, I go a lot to thrift stores and stuff and I collect like those little flowers are part of like a little flower arrangement that, you know, someone couldn't use anymore. So I took it and I used it for stuff. Shells. I love shells. Those are nice little things to place around too. Okay, so just get creative. Here's another cool idea, a garland with string and little triangle papers and just with school glue, glue it on there. Okay, so you can do a garland. Also, not everybody has this, but pom-poms are another way to do garlands too. Just using a needle and thread through the through the pom-poms. Okay, and then you just tape it up here. You use just some tape on top of the table. I mean, on top of the shoebox. Um, make a little book. Place it on your table, you know? So, so get creative. I mean, keep adding things. Maybe you have cute things laying around that you want to add. Uh, maybe you can join me for the paper doll workshop. Um and uh, uh thank you so much i hope you are safe and healthy uh and uh come and see our dioramas when uh we're done <laughs> uh and we're so uh, excited to be part of uh the programming this year and uh we're hoping to see everyone real soon and uh thank you for joining me uh and keep making art and um, helping each other in this time. Uh, and it was it was truly a pleasure to uh, share this with you. And I'll say bye now. Thank you.